What is up everyone? My name is Mr. J and today I am bringing you another Digimatch. match. On the left I'm playing Fenrir Lugamon and on the right we have Javier and he's playing Fishies or Aegisdramon. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Here he's thinking about the Gomamon in the back. Wisdom training. I I don't remember if I bricked this first game. You see I'm playing the, the Genai. Um, yeah. I, I thought Genai was a good tech because it searches your Lugamon, which is arguably the one of the best, the one one of the most important Digimon in your deck, and it also searches your Aiji. So, yeah. Here I discard a card, to destroy the Gomamon, but I don't get to replenish my hand. That's uh, I don't know if I like that. He's going to go ahead and strip the source with the Gomamon, making it unblockable for the turn. He's going to go into Seedramon. I believe that one has Jamming or it has Rush. I'm going to tell you right now, Javier is playing a lot of cards I've never seen before in my life. And um, if you don't know what your opponent's cards do, you're going to be at a severe disadvantage. And yeah, PSA guys. Going to Waro Seedramon here. Gain the memory off the egg. I do know what the egg does. Gomamon gets replayed. Plays a mental training. Surprised he didn't decide to swing over the Lugamon. Usually what unbreaks you in Fenrir is the Helugermon. I do play it as a 4 of. I know people cut down Helugermon to a 3 of. But the dude is just so good at unbreaking you, you know. And first turn play it's not bad just hard play the Tyr tyrannomon search top four usually you add two if you're lucky you add two because you hit the tamer if you don't then it's cool but tyrannomon tyrannomon sets up your trash and then next turn you can go into helugarmon unbreak your hand it's really nice this game it doesn't seem like i'm look i'm not seeing it he plays a little penguin i don't know what the little penguin does All right, he's gonna decide to swing over the Lugarman. It has been living. It has been living. Gives me two memory. Thinking about promoting here. I still do not have the Tamer on board. I'm going to trash again to delete the Rookie. Just hoping, <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna play Helugarman for a lot of memory, get rid of the level five, and then just hope that he cannot build up to another level five. And I think I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm supposed to add a Lugarmon back off that. So I did have, I did give, <laughs> the words are hard today, bro. I did give Javier a lot of memory off that level five play, plays another Waru, draws two off the Gomamon that I've never seen before in my life, but I know it's from like BT8, BT10. Gomamon X, which I think is a really good card. I just don't think I'd ever make this deck, but Javier does love making these um, very non-meta decks. It looks like his deck is getting kind of low. But yeah, he's just spamming the board now, and I'm really bricked up. I only have two cards in my hand because I've been discarding all game with the level threes. You see in this match, I am playing Lugarmon, which is the new level four from BT15. I don't like it. I took it out. I actually put in the Black Garomon Uber for the Lugarmon. He's going to bottom deck off the Aegisdramon, draw two cards again. And yeah, I think I should just scoop it up, but I think I'm playing it out for the camera. Because I do not play Death X in this deck. If I played Death X, it'd be really nice. It'd give me another turn. Something to think about instead of the Genis. He's gonna swing with the Aegisdramon, hits a Matashita. Swing, purple memory boost. 
Javier is very smart though. You know, like he didn't attack my security all game. He waited till the end because yeah, if you're playing Fenrir, look at that. I had three support cards in my security coming out of wisdom training, a purple memory boost, and a Matashita. If he had swung to security willy nilly all game, I would have gotten unnecessary advantage. Something to think about. Because you don't have to swing all at once into, I mean, not in the beginning. You don't have to chip Fenrir down because there's nothing scary in security. You don't have to worry about security bombs. You do have to worry about support cards coming out though. So here the Tyrannomon gets me a Fenrir, I believe. I'm going to bottom deck the rest. I do have to trash one before things are up. So I trash an analog youth. He is going to go into his level four. I do have the Matashita, so I do get set to three. Put Daiji under and go to four memory. Again, the Tyrannomon gives me options if I have the Helugermon to at least unbreak myself. And going into Black Godomon here is not a good sign, but at least I have Retaliation. I don't think it matters because Javier's deck tends to bounce to the hand. So Waro Siegermon here, play the Gomomon. Gain two memory. Well, draw two cards, gain a memory. Go into Plesiomon. I don't know what Plesiomon does. Apparently it plays out a Digimon. Plays out the level four, Siegermon. And it gets to tuck something under. He's. I'm pretty sure he asked here if any Digimon was a blocker. I did say the Tyrannomon is a blocker. He's going to swing at security. Hits a Genai. Genai effect reveals I do get the Aiji off that. Not bad. That's what I was missing. The Seedramon does have Rush. Uh, Fenrir. In security, go into Aegisdramon for four. Pop out the Seedramon, bounce the level four, and yep. Did I not pull out the Aiji? Yeah, I didn't pull him out, bro. Yeah, that's a big misplay. You know, my cousin was playing last match with Fenrir. Now I feel like I'm making the misplays. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have a rookie. All is not lost, right? I could play... Oh, Chimeramon here. So Chimeramon does get rid of the Gomamon. Put the... Lugamon under. I can use the Wisdom Training to make this a little bit cheaper. So use the Wisdom Training going to Fenrir for two Fenrir effect. I do not have Aiji, but I'm going to... S I don't even have something to bring back. Yeah, naturally I can get over a level four with his own effect and then I'll restand. So I'm swinging over the um, the level six, or I think it's a level seven Aegisdramon. And since he was DP reduced because of the Chimera Mon, I was able to swing over it. It just sucks that my trash is not set up. I'm having a really hard time this game too as well. I was testing this build down. And like I said, I did change a couple things. Like I took out the Jedi. It's not necessary. I actually put in more purple memory boost instead. And because as you saw, I was a little bricked up. Both these games. Not to take away from Javier's build though, because like I said, this is this is really good. If you play decks that your opponent, like I said, can catch your opponent off guard, you have the element of surprise, then you should try it out. I like his Aegis Ramon deck, really interesting. He was telling me about how he was able to bounce my level six, given the opportunity. So here I'm just setting up. I have the Lugermon in the back, Lugamon in the back. Have to hard play the Aiji because it's not the BT14. Is it BT14? Um, Lugamon. So this one's very subpar. I don't like the BT15 one, but I mean, it is another dark animal slash SOC. So it is an archetype. It's It was desperately needed. Plus, it's interesting that it gets rid of the floodgates. Because on when attacking, it could delete 3k or less. Plays a Davis. Davis effect revealed top three. Did not see what he added off that. He uses one of the trainings. Gomamon gets popped out. Bukamon gains a, mem a memory, so he does not pass turn. Revealed top three off the Goma. X antibody. 
uses another training to go into Plessio for one Plessio effect, spit out the Seedramon, he'll gain another memory. I'm pretty sure he gained the memory of the Waru Seedramon, is that correct? Because he already gained one off the Bukamon. And again, flooding the board. And that was like one Digimon out of raising, right? He's thinking of wanting what to tuck under. I think he's gonna look up the effect. But I am struggling here. I do have a comeback turn. Right, I have the purple memory boost, I have the training in the back. Beat I'll be set to four at least. Five potentially with the Matashita Matashita effect. I'll have two level fours in trash to bring back. Now this is assuming that I have the the line in my hand. So promote. Boy, you better you better put the IEG under. No, dude. No. No. I'm sure he's gonna let me do that. He's gonna let me like that that's that's a That's a normal misplay, bro. Just put the AEG under you. I'm obviously able to pop out level fours if I just put the thing under and I have no idea what he just did. No idea what he just did. How did he boss my, my dude? Oh my Lord. Yeah, I'm confused. Is the Plesiomon effect like if I play a Digimon by a card effect, he gets the bounce? Yo, how that turned around so quick? Yeah, here he was explaining to me, but in my head I was like, what, bro? Yeah, interaction on your opponent's turn. Really busted. So I am going to get rid of... Oh, he's a level 7. So I only 4, 5, 6. I would need one more Digimon to pop the... Do I have another Digimon? I probably could have played it without passing turn. Yeah, because I have the purple memory boost. I actually would have been able to pop the another Digimon. Misplaced for days. Yeah, because I would pop the memory boost, play the level 4 I see in my hand, and then swing with Fenrir, and that way I could delete the level 7. Oh yeah, I don't have enough here. Yeah, I can put the IEG under the under the Black Auto, right? I think he was saying that I can't put the IEG under Black Auto. But I'm pretty sure I can put him under a Dark Animal, right? Or SOC. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Get Fenrir here. I actually, I'm pretty sure I'm only playing one Chimera Mon in this build. I do want to bump it up to two, but I don't know what to cut. I'm not cutting the Matashita, bro. But I'm thinking of cutting one Analog Youth for the second Chimeramon. I used to play two Chimeramon and one Demonic Disaster. But with the new support, you had to make some room. But here, another Chimeramon just to wipe out the little, the little bodies would be nice. The problem here is I can't, I don't have enough memory to go into second Fenrir without passing turn. And I'm pretty sure this Black Gattle was just played. The Black Gattle has Rush, but the Digimon itself does not gain Rush. So I cannot swing with the Soul Ugermon. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I think I'm just trying not to lose. Trying to survive one more turn.
But I actually screwed myself over here because I think I should have stayed with the Tyranomon on the field to have an extra blocker. All right, Gomamon start of turn. He's going to strip, which means that is unblockable. I actually don't have to worry about the Gomamon. The Gomamon could swing for a game, technically. But I think Javier is going to try to dismantle my board here. He's going to swing. Does not get deleted off the security check. That is a very big body, 14k. Now that I'm looking at it. Swing. I'm thinking of just blocking here, but yeah, I'm just gonna scoop it up. And I get too old by Aegisdramon, bro. I was so surprised, but it was it's a good build. I had no idea what his cards were doing. No idea that entire match. Yeah, he was just telling me how he could bounce level sixes back to his hand. And I see the Metal Seedramon from, what is it, BT1 or BT2, BT3? Haven't seen that card in ages, in ages. Metal, Seed Metal Seedramon is a cool Digimon though. I wish they made him a little bit more playable, more playable. But yeah, that's the match, guys. Next match is going to be for sure either Melga or Fenrir because the doggy decks right now are my favorites. So that's what I'll be playing. I'm actually trying to make purple Melga. So if you have a purple Melga build post restriction list, I would like to see it if you would drop it, if you would be so kind to share in the Discord. But anyways, hope you guys like the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. My name is Mr. J. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.